Hi, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be part of the Creators Helping Creator series that I'm making. And in this one here, we're going to be in YouTube Studio again, and um, the, we're in the Overview section, right? Let me get rid of that little pop-up. Uh, we are in the Overview section where we got the watch that, and all these things look great. Like, look at the subscribers. Wow, man, 1.9 thousand in the last 28 days. That's great, but uh, this is my lifetime view, and I don't have 1.9 thousand subscribers that I know of. I have like 1,872, so they round up for this particular uh, view, and that's great. But uh, hopefully there's going to be some insight here to a couple of different features about YouTube. And for newer channels, uh, some hope, a little bright light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing. That's what I want to talk about here, some motivational kind of stuff. Let's talk about it. Uh, I started my channel back in um, 8 December, on 8 December 2006, which apparently was a Friday, right? It was a Friday, and I started my channel. I didn't upload my first video. Let's get into that. I didn't upload my first video until April 11th, 2010. So 11 April, 2010, I uploaded a video that I had nothing to do with YouTube. This was for a public hearing about traffic uh, congestion, really is what it was all about. And um, that day I was shooting this video, there were like three other camera crews out there shooting that video, it was hilarious. So anyways, um, that was that, that was all about. The second one, Squirrel Shares a Snack. This is the kind of video that you might see on YouTube, right? You know, cute animal video. And it's short, it's a minute and 18 seconds. It's an adorable video. The next couple of videos, 18 seconds, 20 seconds. Again, friends and family kind of thing. You know, something you might put on Facebook or something like that, and I probably did, all right? Uh, then in this one here is a six minute video in 2014. All right, so here we go. 2010, I upload a video that had nothing to do with YouTube whatsoever. The second video I uploaded was a kind of a YouTube-ish video, but it was just you know over a year later, right? And then a couple of years later, I upload a couple of family videos. But in July of 2014, I said, you know what? Let me start putting some videos up on there for a specific purpose. I had a reason to make videos that had nothing to do with me being a professional videographer in litigation support, right? They were study educational kind of videos that I wanted to make, and I did. So those were the initial ones. So if we go back and look over here, I don't have very many views until here, and they're gonna be for a very small audience, and they're very specific, and I wasn't you know, pumping these things out, I wasn't cross-referencing on social media, I'm absolutely completely ignorant about social media in general, but uh, and all on it, so if I give you advice, you know, you know, double check, you know, trust but verify. Anyway, so um, in these ones here, these are a very small audience of people that are watching my videos. It wasn't until like 2015, where is it, 2015, I started making actual videos um, that I you know, intended more people to see. And in 2017, um, I noticed that you know, I started getting a little bit of an increase here, right? So I told my wife, I was like, you know, I'm starting to get people watching my videos. People are starting to watch my videos. Either it's accidental or what, I don't know. Um, but I, I think I need to make more videos for YouTube, actually specifically for YouTube. Now I was still in law school at the time, but uh, in 2017, I graduated in 2018. But during 2017, in my last year at law school, um, I was like, I need to make videos specifically for YouTube rather than that, because I have people watching and I think that I can get more. And I started making some money. Let's talk about the money. And it's not big money, but it's little money, right? So back here in 2015, I started making a penny, right? Big money, I mean, retirement funds here, right? Um, and then there's a couple of spikes, right? Uh, above this nine plus there, there's like three of these little spikes up there. And then in front of this uh, play button thing here, there's another spike or two right there. One of these I can lock in on, there we go. Um, that should come up with a number here. It's $23.50. Hopefully it'll come up. And there we go. $23.54. What this is, is a donation that somebody made to the cause. Now, way back in the day, after I got monetized, YouTube had this program where we could install this little button right over here on our homepage and people could make a donation to the cause. They go to your channel, they like what they see, they want to see you succeed, they make a donation to your cause, right? And it could have been you know, pretty good money and they could have made uh, donations every single day if they wanted to, however they wanted to do it. And people made donations to the cause, it was fantastic. Um, but they weren't from YouTube. These are people that were going out to my web uh, chat, well, my website and they saw these educational materials that I had and if somebody thought that, hey, this is worth it, this is a great thing, they would make a donation to the cause. But I also set up a PayPal uh, situation on my website where I basically created a donate button. That is before the PayPal me thing. So PayPal me came out later. That profile, the PayPal me profile came out later. And that's why I strongly suggest that you use a PayPal me thing. Because if you weren't around back in, you know, 2016, if you weren't on YouTube in 2016, or maybe you just didn't know, or you were just brand new and you didn't know about that thing, YouTube, let's go look at it. Let's find this thing. It's right here. It's support the Ray Hayden channel, right? 
And this thing here has statistics. This is funny. Let's go see if we can open a new tab. We can. Let's do that. This thing here has statistics on it. All right. And there's that button. There's that. See where the. I'm going to put my mouse over this thing. It's going to turn gray. There's a little red button underneath where my finger is. When I move the, the hand off of this screen right here, look at that. That little red button is a way for people. They hit that button, they make a donation to the cause, right? Now, this thing here says in the last 20, in the last 28 days, somebody watched this thing. That's hilarious. Uh, since lifetime, um, this thing here has 558 views. Now, this is the normal kind of thing that you would see is, uh, you know, it kind of spikes and then fades out over time. But um, I made 38 cents on asking for money, right? That's what that is. Picked up three subscribers, right? Got 558 views and 261 watch time minutes. It's a 42 second video, all right? We got 261 minutes, you know, and 558 views. So, um, you know, so this thing here has statistics, made some money, picked up some subscribers. So this video stays on my channel forever because it made statistics, but it was an option that YouTube had a while ago to allow us to ask people for donations, right? They took that away and the new version of this thing, as far as I can tell, is called memberships. People don't have to click a button, make a donation to cause. They can make a continuing, they can join your channel as a member and um, they can make a continuing donation to your cause, like a subscription. Could be, I don't know how much the amounts are, but I don't have 100,000 subscribers, so I don't qualify anyway. Um, and then with the monetiza monetization thing, I was monetized for a couple of years before 4K, 1K hit. So you know that I'm pretty hyper ticked off about the 4K, 1K thing, and it's flatly stupid the way they did it. This is why. I had to jump through the hoop twice because my channel is my business. Ray Hayden is a business. It's a person, me, and it's a business, the business. Ray Hayden doing business ads, right? And it's on the front of all my videos, doing business ads video one. So here's the deal. Um, I was monetized for a number of years, and then they just cut us off. So I was like, hang on a second. The 10,000 rule came out, and you grandfathered us in, and then 4K, 1K thing. And even though we've been monetized for years, you're chopping us off at the knees. You already know us. We are known entities. You know we're not doing anything wrong. We're not being crazy. We're not being stupid. Just go ahead. We're not bad actors, right? So leave us monetized. And if you have a new requirement, add it. But we're grandfathered in, right? But because of the 4K, 1K, let's go into views. So we go back into views here, and we see that I was doing a little bit of growth here, right? But I was not making YouTube videos for YouTube. I was making YouTube videos for my own website, right? So back in 2017, let me see if we can get a date up here. Okay, this is 2016 to 2017. This is December, right? And January, I was talking to my wife. This is my last year of law school. I just started my last year of law school around this period of time. And I told my wife, well, it was actually December and uh, 2016. But in January 2017, I was like, you know, I'm starting to get people watching my videos. I, I need to make videos for YouTube. Now, she's seeing like two, three cents on a video kind of thing. And it's like, okay, there's big money. But uh, sure, no, go ahead. Dive a whole bunch of time into that thing. It's not making any money, right? So it makes a lot of sense. But here's the deal. People are watching. It's like, you know, you got to have a whole bunch of people watching. You got to have a whole bunch of subscribers. We all know the basic general scenario, what we need to do to get the job done, right? But you got to start somewhere. And the first place to start is you're not going to get any subscribers if you don't have any videos. So you need to make videos. And you also need to make videos that appeal to at least a large number of people. Even if it's in a little niche market kind of thing. And it's like, well, I'm going to do videos about guitars, you know, and not electric guitars, just classic, classical guitars, you know, the regular, you know, box guitar. Or I'm just going to do them on bass electric guitars. Or I'm just going to do them on acoustical uh, guitars. That's it. That's the name I was looking for before. Acoustical guitars. So if you're going to hit a niche audience, you want to hit one that has a good fan base. <laughs> you know, if you're going to do distance learning students of law school and you need to make your videos real short, you're uh, making a recipe for disaster, which is what I had all back here. All right. That's what that is way back here. And then when I started making videos for YouTube, I started to have growth. So now I'm making videos specifically for YouTube and I'm gonna make some more videos about that. What happened, how it happened, why I did it. And I'm gonna talk about that for, you know, especially for the newer channels, what happened, how it happened. Cause this 20, uh, 2018, February, 2018, this is when 4k, 1k hit thing. Let me get rid of that. It'll pop up here or the 155. Let me get rid of that. And that's when we knew that 4k was going to hit above this nine plus button here. So that's the networking bubble there. This is the networking bubble right here where I went networking like crazy to try to get to a thousand subscribers. We did get there. The channel did get there. And then I stopped networking. I stopped the hardcore networking because that's not organic growth. That's artificial growth. You know, you support as many people as you can. You got people supporting you. Things are going great and everything else, but you really need to still continue to find your audience and grow from there. 
But this is what I want you to notice on here. There's two angles of growth right here. There's this one here. This is before 4K, 1K. There's a natural organic growth right here, right? This is the abnormal 4K, 1K growth thing. And then there's this angle right here, which is again, organic growth again, right? So that's my point is I wasn't growing. Things weren't happening. Things weren't happening. But when I made the actual decision to make videos for specifically for an audience on YouTube, growth started happening. So we look back here, this is 2017. Well, right now it's 2019. So this is, you know, quote unquote, only two years later, but it's like, it was an overnight success, but I started way back in 2006. All right. And I didn't upload until 2010. So that's like eight years ago, right? Nine, nine years ago, eight, nine years ago. Right. So it can happen, but once you make that decision to make it happen, it can start happening. Um, let me see here. We talked about the money part of it, subscriber part of it. Here it is. There's the 4K, 1K bubble. That's me hardcore networking to get the job done. We did, we get the 1000 subscribers to get the job done. And then you'll see that the, the growth rate of subscribers was really minimal forever uh, because I never asked anybody to subscribe, right? We have to ask people to subscribe. We actually pause, uh, by the way, if you haven't already, please hit the su subscribe button. Uh, but but we, you know, then we realized, no, we have to beg, borrow and steal to get people to subscribe to the channel. We absolutely positively have to do it because when they said you need the thousand subscribers, YouTube put a mandate on it that we have to go out and ask people to subscribe to our channel. We have no choice. We have to ask. Uh, and then we have, this was, um, there's an artificial 49 or something like that in here, 29. And then there's like a loss of 49, right? So that's some kind of scamming, spamming, dirty, rotten scoundrels right there. They came in, YouTube took care of them, right? Um, so, you know, but it had nothing to do with me because I, I was no longer networking. This was, this had nothing to do with me. This is hardcore networking with me, legally, morally, and ethically. This is some spammer, scammer, dirty, rotten scoundrel over here. And that's what caused this drop down here. Uh, but the rest of this is a much better growth rate as a port, you know, from before, uh, 4k, 1k, because this is the organic growth that YouTube wants us to have so much. And speaking of that, look down here, this is the last 48 hours. I want to talk about this 1,040. Now these are views in the last 40, 48 hours. My channel typically as of late, okay, more recently, I started noticing changes in December of 2018 and now it's 2019. And I noticed that, you know, my channel was at five to 600 views in the last 48 hours. So this number is a very important one for me to watch just a quick glance, doesn't take long. And I see what this number is right here, right? Just takes a second to see what that number is because it had been hovering between five and 600. But then now lately it's been hovering over a thousand in the last 48 hours. And that's fantastic. Um, and going forward, I'd like to see two, three, four, five thousand, 5,000, right? It'd be great. And there's some other statistics I'm looking at that I'll share with you as I notice them going down the road. But I want to share this part, these parts of it with you, like views, uh, watch time we can look at too. Even though it's not tracked way back here, it doesn't matter because I didn't start making active YouTube videos until 2017 anyway, right? Um, but you can see the watch time increase. As soon as I started making YouTube videos for YouTube, they started to increase. We got the 4K, 1K bubble right here and then the organic growth came back, okay? And that's what we're looking for. So this is the stuff before 4K, 1K. This is 4K, 1K right here. This is that big spike. And then this is the new organic growth right there. I don't know why the pop-up started, stopped happening, but it'd be great to be able to shut them off. Anyway, so that's that part there. So that's great. On the views, they should pretty much mirror it, right? You get the same kind of deal. This is before 4K, 1K. This is 4K, 1K. And then this is organic growth. This is all natural. It's all me. Uh, <laughs> all the viewers watching the channel, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, reaching viewers, um, this stuff here doesn't really take place until recently. Um, and it's really just going to go back to views again. So, you know, nothing to see there, but in the overview, these are great things to see at, in a lifetime. You can actually see, get a visual representation of how your growth has been going. Um, and as soon as you put your mind to it, that you really want to actually do it that way. It's worth it. I I'd say it's absolutely positively worth it, but you have to get your working conditions down because you don't want to get burned out. You don't want to sit there and like, oh, I'm smacking my head up against the wall. I'm getting the job done every day, every way I'm doing it. I'm doing it and nothing's happening. Well, let's go back to one of my videos in the main page here. Let's, um, oh, let's go back to the dashboard here and we'll go down. To, oh, no, actually, it was actually in analytics and it was actually down here. So it looks like uh, removing melamine, the plastic stuff on TV. Let's look at that. And hopefully it takes us right to the analytics and it does. And look at the lifetime of this one here, right? Same deal. I just did this in a previous video, right? So it didn't start out very well. It took a while for it to start picking up. Uh, I made this video back in 2017, May 2017. Here it is, only two years later, and it just oh, now it's catching on, right? 
that's perfectly fine. That's great. Uh, you know, that's fine and dandy as long as it continues to improve from there because this video is an evergreen kind of video. It's not a trendy video. It's not the hot stuff right now. You know, hey, yeah, this is brand new, hot, hot, you know, video. And then they would, you know, start out real strong and then they'd fade out over time. This one here fades in. All right. So these are my kind of videos. These are the kind of videos I really love to make. This video right here is one of those kind of videos. So this video you're watching right now should be an evergreen video. What that means is to me is it's not going to get a whole lot of views up front, right? People will find it over time. As they find it over time, they share it with other people and all that kind of stuff. Then it picks up, takes off and everything else. Things start happening, right? This video right here picked up 118 subscribers, made $63 and has 26,000 views in its lifetime, right? And 80.1 thousand watch time minutes. That's fantastic, right? So, you know, don't be discouraged. I mean, sometimes it takes a little while for things to pick up. If you're doing trendy things, really hot topic right now kind of things, they're going to hit hard and fade out. If you do things that are evergreen, they're, you know, kind of concepts. If you mix it up, you have some hot trending kind of things you want to hit right now to get some viewership right now. That's fine. And if you do some other ones where they're more evergreen in nature, then they'll pick up and support you over time. Right. And you kind of want to mix of those if you can get them, get the hot topic one to get the initial strike of some viewership and some hours and everything and some uh, numbers and then have some other evergreen ones that'll just pick up in popularity over time. All right. So that's the kind of suggestion I have on that point. All right. So with that, that's going to wrap this one up. I just want to share that information with you so you could see how things evolved on my channel over time. Right. Uh, once I made the decision to go into YouTube and actually make YouTube videos specifically for a YouTube audience, the growth started happening. And then as I, you know, because of 4k, 1k thing and that little bubble of insanity happened, I got out of the hardcore networking and just started doing a natural growth kind of thing, let the organic growth happen. And I just keep making the videos for the audiences and hopefully, um, people will find them, people will appreciate them, people will keep watching. All right. So that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like this video, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know you came by to say hi. And, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It's gr very important for me to grow on the network. And until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.